Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Andy and I am the Resale Chick, so I'm really happy to have you. Um, I know I have been a little MIA from my channel for a couple of weeks. I have been very, very busy, um, but I have something to show you. Um, you know I love my free stuff, right? I like getting stuff for free. Well, uh, last week, my ex-husband called me. Um, it's my daughter's father, and he, um, we get along. We, we get along, for the most part, we get along pretty well. And he just bought a house. So he goes in this house, and the man that lived there previously moved in with a family member or something and left just about everything there and when my ex-husband contacted him he said he didn't want it so I had a little private pic of my own and he called me and he was like hey do you want to come look at this stuff and I was like really um sure okay because I really wasn't thinking that there was going to be anything there I I honestly didn't think I mean I don't know I I just I just had a feeling there wasn't going to be anything there but you never turn away free stuff right just in case um, he does live about an hour and a half away Anthony and I were planning to be in that in that uh, city that it's Dayton which is about an hour and a half from Columbus um, Saturday night anyway because last week was Anthony's birthday and I was taking him to a little Mexican restaurant there that's very old and we really like it so I was taking him there for his birthday <laughs> so we decided to go there first and oh my gosh I can't believe the stuff I got I can't believe it the whole back end of my SUV was filled my back seat was filled everything was filled so I'm gonna show you what I got I'm gonna try to hold my camera at the same time as I'm showing you so I don't know the lighting in here is sucky it really is so I'm gonna try to do that and uh, show you guys what I got so stay tuned Okay guys, all of this, not that, that's something totally different, but all of this other stuff is what I got for free. There's a bunch of coats over there. So I'm going to go everything very quickly because I don't want this to be a really long video, but we're just going to go ahead and start in this chair here. So this is a box of hats. I'm not even going to say vintage because they're all vintage. Everything's vintage except for just a few things and I'll let you know. So this is probably a local boutique or something like that, but pillbox hat. Hat. This one needs reshaped. And then this one needs reshaped too. And that has the netting on it. Well, since that one fell, I'll go ahead and show you this. This man's winter hat. There's a 45 record. And then this woman's hat. Okay, then we have these books Gateway Educational Products. And Buffalo Bill, Daniel Boone, Davy Crockett. I'm not sure these have ever been read. I, I don't think they have because this is the box that they came in. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to see. 
and then these are all homemade there's some bloomers I'm thinking it might have been the bottom to a bathing suit because I think this is a bathing suit it has the bra those are homemade and then we have this beaded little baby handbag it's an amazing condition and we have this handbag I actually sold some vintage handbags like Look at that. They look brand new. I sold some vintage handbags a couple of years ago that I had gotten at a, at a yard sale. And they they did pretty well. I sold one for 75 and I think one for 55 And there's this one. I'll open it up. Can't really open it very well, but it's it looks amazing. It's in amazing condition. Got this little guy. I don't know anything about him. I haven't looked up any of these. But there's the. Uh, I can't, it won't, it's not going to focus. But I haven't looked it up. I found this craftsman drill. I don't know if it works or not. I grabbed it. This is not vintage. This is from the 2000. This is a 2002 collection of Christmas ornaments. But there's a certificate of authenticity. I'm not sure they've ever been out of here. There's like layers of them. Layers and layers. So I'm not going to take them all out. But I thought that was really freaking cool. And I will sell them as a whole set. I'm not going to break them up. Then I have this. And then I have this vintage ice crusher. And that's not going to that's not going to focus either. I don't know anything about any of this. I've already said that, but I'm going to continue to say it because I don't know. I haven't looked anything up yet. And then this is from Reich's, and those are terry cloth bathrobes. And they're old, and they are in amazing condition. I don't know what brand they are because I haven't taken them out. Woven terry. Uh, amp ambus? I don't know. Um, they look brand new. I have not taken them out yet, so I don't know what kind of condition they are actually. And then we have, these two are not vintage, but Holly, Holly Jolly Rock Santa and this Gold Able Collection Really Dancing Santa with Santa and Mrs. Claus. I have this KitchenAid mixer. It is an old KitchenAid mixer. It has the glass bowl and the whisk attachment. I do not have any other attachments, so I don't know if it came with any other attachments. I will have to research that. And then this is a Sunbeam hand mixer. It does work. I did test it. Old AF. Um. Now what? Now where? Now where do we go? I'm gonna go here. So there are five of these. One, two, three, four, five. These are jumbo 
dress garment bags. They are still in the package. They're the kind that you hang in your closet and they kind of encapsulate everything. So I have five of those all new in package. Okay, these are awesome. These are Samsonite Silhouette Luggage, new in box. Oh shit, new in box. They've never been used. There's that one, and then there's one down there. Same type of case, um, Coleman case, you can see right there, Samsonite Silhouette Luggage, Men's 3 Suitor. So that's pretty exciting. That one down there is blue, and this one is brown. Brown or gray? I think it's brown. It looks black in the camera, but I think it's brown. Okay, let me. I'm going to move, so stand by. Okay, I have this Coleman. I have this Coleman cooler. With a spout. I'm not sure if the spout still seals. I haven't I haven't done anything with it. There's an old axe. There's some kind of a a crimping tool. I don't know. Okay, let's get this box. Okay, I found this hat. It is a leather hat. It's very slouchy, <laughs> like it falls right back down, so I don't know. But, I mean, it, on your head, it would be in good shape. I don't know. Um, brand. If you can see that or not. Looks like the same brand as some of the other women's hats. And then these are all homemade like nightgowns and like little robes. Like these are all pajamas. They're homemade. They're all homemade. And that's mine. Um, now this one I'm pretty sure is not. That's That looks like it's, this one looks like it's newer. But everything else in here you can see this little like nighty, and they're all homemade. I will fold those back up here in a second. Now, I got these dishes. I am going to part all of these out. I'm not going to sell them as a whole. Oh, first of all, first of all. Pyrex. There's that. And that one. They do need cleaned up a little bit. But I got these dishes. With these, these are two different patterns. There's one with that has a gold rim on it, and then there's one that has a silver. So those are two different patterns, two different um, companies. Um so there's a pitcher, there's just all kinds of dishes, creamers, sugars, gravy boats, here with the same two patterns. Here are some salt and pepper shakers that are pigs. They do not have stoppers in them. That sucks. Um, but yeah, there's the gold. And then this is the silver. Not all of these will get sold because some of them are in kind of bad shape. They have, that has been... That has come off. We are almost done. These need cleaned up, but there are two of the metal, vintage metal ice cube trays. Um, there is a brand, although I can't see it right now, but they do need cleaned up. But I thought that was pretty cool. Over here, Over here are boxes of vintage 
Christmas ornaments. There's those. Those. I will probably sell these by the box because I really don't want to separate them and mess with it. Those. So they're all basically like that. I'm not going to open them all because it's going to take time and I'm doing it one handed. Um, okay, one more place over here to show you guys. Oh, there's my computer. I have it out. I had my GoPro plugged in it. I did this video yesterday and it was on time lapse the whole time. That is a, um, fishing rod holder with fishing old fishing rods in it okay so this is a new with tags there's the tags right there new with tags faux fur coat it's a faux meat coat and it is long you can see right there it is in amazing condition and it is old very very old And this is a man's coat. I don't know if with what if any of these men's coats are going to be worth anything, but they were there, so I grabbed them. Here's another man's overcoat. These are vintage skirts. These are all homemade. I'm probably going to lot these together and just sell them as is. Here's a men's leather jacket with a Sherpa lining. Um, it is a bass, so it is probably not vintage, but it is leather, so and then here's a man's overcoat. It is wool, like a pea coat. Look at this coat, guys. Look at those buttons. This is old, very, very old. And then one more coat. I have to do some research because I don't know if this is a man's or a women's woman's coat, but it is a pretty sure it's a women's coat, but it is a beltless trench coat. So just, you know, an overcoat of some kind. So that's it guys. That is my free haul from my ex-husband that was nice enough to call me and say, Hey, can you get this shit out of my house? So that was great. Um, I really appreciate you guys sticking with me through this and I will be giving updates once I find um, find out how much things are worth and um, or as I sell them or whatever I'll just give you guys some updates on on my stuff so um, thanks for sticking with me and everyone have a great afternoon and we'll see you later